I'm just going to test the security of this latch. Uh, <laughs> no. It's a pretty cold morning today. We've run out of most of our food now. This is this morning's breakfast. It's like beans on toast without the toast. Finished DIYing for now, and we're gonna start heading towards Ellesmere again. Hopefully get close enough to the Tesco. We don't know how busy it's gonna be. And then we can moor up nice and close and do a big stock up shop. So I'm going to do some tidying inside while we're cruising. Because it's such a small space, it gets really messy really easily. We play a game when we have to put something back in the kitchen. Whether Wes can do it in time before the boat veers <laughs> off to the side. <laughs> Obviously we make sure nothing's coming. Go! Stuck in the way. Go, go, go! There's a boat, there's a boat! There's a boat! Smashed it. Easy, easy. Pulling up to the facilities at Ellesmere, we're gonna empty the cassettes, fill the water, clean out dupes, empty the bins, and then after that, we're gonna go and do our weekly shop. Now King Dupes is set up, it's all clean, ready for him to go back in. So we've rearranged the roof, the middle bit's kind of a storage area. Got some wood planks, my little fruit and vegetable garden, and then all of this room for when we want to sit and have a picnic. Dupes is very happy in his new clean home and inside is also clean. It's really common in a lot of the toilets that you just kind of leave stuff that you don't really want anymore for someone else to pick up. And you can see like there's just a load of books, like some DVDs, that sort of stuff. It can be really random. I just found a little book of crosswords, so I'm gonna have that. Food shop is done. We are just borrowing the trolley. That's the best thing about this one is you can wheel it right to your boat. So we always stock up on big things like milk, all of the tins that we have. And then we can just take as much packaging off as we can. And then that's ready to go in the bins too. We've gotten fairly used to not having a fridge now because it's been over two months now. Um, but as long as we're kind of careful with how we plan things, we can still get things like pizzas. We just have to make sure that we eat them early in the week. And then we're just eating tin food, pasta, rice, and some veggies that keep longer after that. But the one thing that we have to get used to now is not having the fridge at all, which the main loss is just shelf space. So we're just gonna have boxes of things, but oh well. I just dropped my phone while I was taking the trolley back. It's like proper smashed. I really need a new phone. <laughs> Never a dull day, eh? Out on an evening walk, just exploring. Got lost in the woods for a bit. And now I found an area with some really posh houses. One of the benefits is just every time we go out on a dog walk, you just get to explore and see new areas. We just sat up on the roof just replying to some YouTube comments. There's so many lovely things and 
it's kind of overwhelming, like, just seeing that people actually care about our lives, but yeah, it's really sweet. It means a huge amount to us. So thank you everyone for watching and for all your lovely comments. They really do make our day and we read every single one. They're only on episode five. They're watching them all tonight, probably. Yeah, they're just like binging them. Yeah, like can't you know, it's so cute. I'm bored. I can't lay down because there's a spider in my way. You gotta just accept that he might crawl in your ears. No. Just think of the knowledge you could gain from up. the two brains combined. I don't actually know how you play cricket. Wickets. I think the guy in the jumper. Which one? <laughs> oh, the one with the funky hat. There's, just, there's quite a lot of clapping and cheering. Not one of them has hit the ball yet, I don't think. Mm, disappointing. <laughs> we had a really nice lion this morning. Had a bacon sandwich, watched some cricket from the roof. And now we're taking pretty much all of our washing to the laundry. We got some bedding, towels, and then just the heavy things like jeans and jumpers that are really hard to wash in the washing machine. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna chill around the town for a little bit. getting this basket for firewood in the winter because it's a flat and tall we can fit it in and it won't stick out much as well which so it's perfect back at the boat i'm pretty exhausted from doing all the laundry and some other odd jobs and Amy starts streaming a bit less than an hour, so naturally we're going to try and get a uh, coat of primer on the bathroom walls in that time. So we've got to mask, wipe it all down, cover stuff up and bash it on as quickly as we can because we've got an urge to do it. It's quite a small space for two people to work in. We have to do everything together. <laughs> Paint looks fizzy. All our screwdrivers are going to be white. <laughs> We've got a roller. <laughs> Just stroke in the top of the paint. This is not the DIY channel. This is the best filming angle I can get. <laughs> Good luck. the first coat um it's like a very light white gray color to match the marble effect in the tiles but yeah it's looking good it's looking fresh already just run into tesco real quick because the pizzas that we bought have defrosted way quicker than we thought um, so i'm gonna get some more now <sighs> a little bit down Amy was part way through a stream and the voltage dropped too low so the inverter cut out which cut the stream short which is a bit rubbish especially as it was a kind of community night one and everyone was having a good time but I'm sorry if you're from stream <laughs> we just came out to try and get just like a nice chilled drink because we haven't got a fridge from like a little local corner I'm shop I'm sad and one of the things that cheers me up is ice and cold drinks <laughs> But that shut 15 minutes ago, so now we're just walking around the town at night. The next morning, time for a second coat. Um, it's supposed to be a grey colour, but it kind of looks like a bluey off-white. So I'm not 100% sure. 
One thing we've learned about DIY is that all paints are white. I don't hate it. I think I like it better than the wood because it matches these better. But the colour itself looks like a white wall that was painted like 10 years ago. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm going to try and take the masking tape off. We still don't know if you're supposed to take it off when the paint's wet or when the paint's dry. So if you do actually know, please let us know in the comments. There we go. I thought we'd try masking these to see if we liked it with a bit of wood as well. Um, spent quite a long time masking it. So now we're going to paint the wooden accents all around so it's just one clean colour. Do we care if you make a mess underneath? Yeah. It looks way better. Going to the old trusty fridge. That's the best we've got. Where's his editing? So we've had this bit of the wall. All of the other top walls are painted white on the entire bow. Apart from this one section. It's because the sofa was there and it was in the way. Um, but I'm just going to do it now. I've covered the sofa the best I can. Let's give it a go. Shh. We were supposed to prime it. You know how in episode two, we did all the priming beforehand to stop the yellowing colour. I can already see the yellowing coming through. Amy's gone rogue uncovered sofa and she's just painting random other bits of wall please cover the sofa i just wanted to get those patches plant in that corner mirror there with the arch and then a shelf there i know you normally have a mirror directly over a sink but because it's such a small space i feel like it's a better use of space to put it in the mirror middle i think this is how you do a color block we actually did measuring though. Hope everyone's proud of us. <laughs> We're learning. I haven't got any string. Not well, that I can find anyway, so I'm just using an iPhone charger. <laughs> we think this is the center point. This is an outline of the mirror, which we think is roughly in the mirror and in the middle, or at least looks enough in the middle. This is roughly how thick we want the color block. So I'm now gonna trace that around the center point and hopefully that'll give us our guide. When you colour block in, to stop the bleed through and where it's like not completely clean line, you're supposed to paint the edge with the colour that you want the base wall to be. So then the only colour that bleeds through is the base wall colour, not the new one. So then the new one goes on top, and it should be super straight. No pressure. This is it. only five past eleven. Ready? I'm nervous. Look how good my trick works. <gasps> it looks so good! Oh, I'm happy with that. Where's that spider gone? That's turned out well. I'm scared. Spider, you're interrupting the moment. It's a nice sunny frosty morning a little bit cold but it's kind of nice it's the first time we've really kind of had mist and frost that's kind of special excited for winter as long as we can get the chimney sorted we had a bit of a, a weird one last night the um, hire boat next to us it went out to the pub and then they came back at about half 11 at night. And you're not supposed to run your engine past eight o'clock, but they turned it on when they got back. And it's dead quiet in that area, so it's so loud. 
and they were just walking around outside being quite sort of loud and leery so we were just sat upright in the dark just like I can't imagine what it's like mooring in the middle of a city just done a bit of morning painting just finished off some bits that were left undone last time just around the window frame got a few pictures up as well just using command hooks for most of them yeah starting to look a little a little more finished in some places just chilling inside and the boat came a bit close but they were going quite fast as well and they hit into one of the buoys that we put on the far side because people crash into us all the time and they properly like yanked on it as they came past like by just squeezing through the gap that was too small for them to fit down and it snapped one of the hooks on our river buoys just clean off like a nice higher boat group helped kind of fish it back out and throw it to us. They didn't even, the people that did it didn't even apologize. They were so rude. Like I went out straight away just to see what happened and he looked at me, stared me in the face of light and looked at me like, and then carried on. So yeah, not everyone's nice and considerate. Time to put the mirror on. We've still got our two little indents that we made for the holes. I'm pretty sure they still line up. The only slight thing is that these are the screws that come with the set. This is one of the screws that used to be in the mirror on quite the thin wall. And this is the other screw that was in the mirror. I say we just use the old ones. The pros at this now. Looks good. Do you like it? Yeah. Just want a little shelf here now. I love it. Do you like it? More inverter troubles. Woo. I wish we could just get a whole new set of batteries, a whole new inverter, and just start from scratch with the electrics because I think that's what's causing so many problems. Is all the electric setups that they had was just for the marina and we we did do an adaptation so we got rid of most 240 volt things we only really use our big power things when the engine's on or when the batteries are full so just, some of it's not right <laughs> this time some of it's just not right with the inverter it says it was using about 60 which is way higher than it ever does the voltage was down to about 10.6 which is crazy low and it stinks of plastic Earlier we were saying, oh, we've had our water heater on all this time, let's turn it off. And it looked, I being stupid thought that the, the switch being down was on, so I flipped it up, thinking, oh, let's turn the water heat off. So someone on Facebook as well said that an immersion heater draws like a crazy amount. I don't really understand why they have them unless it's just for people that are like plugged into the shoreline maybe because then obviously you're not running your engine very much but we were like look scrolling through like electrician numbers like right we need to get a new inverter amy can't get a laptop now thought we'd briefly explain what happened so basically i had turned the immersion heater on by accident thinking that i'd turned it off and that was drawing all of the power causing the inverter troubles so this time it wasn't actually the inverter i'd just turned something on we're just gonna try and have a normal evening now and see how it goes and fingers crossed that was it i feel so stupid we're both new to it aren't we it's fine hopefully We're chilling on the roof tonight. 
I've had dinner on the roof with some candles and incense and now we're just lying down watching the stars and it it's really aesthetic and looks really cute but my camera's too rubbish to pick it up so you'll just have to take our word for it. <laughs> thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoyed this chaotic episode of diy thank you to fat and sassy for your comment of the week and if you enjoyed please subscribe see you next week <laughs>